For decades, counting calories has been a popular method of managing weight and improving overall health. Despite its popularity, the science of calorie counting remains concealed by confusion and controversy. While some experts swear by it as a reliable weight loss method, others argue that it is flawed and potentially harmful. Because of the complexity of the human body and the wide range of factors that can influence energy expenditure, predicting how many calories an individual needs to consume or burn in a day is very difficult. Now, in order to understand calories and how it affects you, we must first look at the past in order to understand the present. The history of calorie counting and the concept of the calorie as a unit of measurement for energy can be traced back to the work of several pioneer scientists and researchers. The first step towards understanding the role of food in the body were taken by a French chemists called Antoine Lavoisier in the late 18th century. Lavoisier is widely regarded as the father of modern chemistry and his work laid the groundwork for the study of nutrition. His discovery that food was made up different components including proteins, fats, and carbohydrates and he began to investigate how these components interacted with the body. In the early 19th century, German chemist Justus Beinhardt von Lippig expanded on Lavoisier's work by developing a method for measuring the amount of nitrogen in different types of food. This led him to propose the concept of the caloric value of food, which he defined as the amount of energy released when food was burned. Lipig's work was the first to suggest that food provided the body with the measurable amount of energy and it paved the way for future research in this field. However, it wasn't until the late 1800s that the concept of calorie as we know it today began to take shape. In 1887, Wilbur Atwater conducted a series of experiments to measure the amount of energy he released when the different types of foods were burned. Atwater experiments led him to the create the concept of calorie which he defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Atwater's work became the basis for the study of nutrition and his research paved the way for development of modern dietary guidelines. In the early 20th century, scientists began to investigate how different foods affected the body and the role that calorie intake played in weight gain and weight loss. The concept of calorie counting became more popular in mid 20th century with the rise of dieting culture. In the 1950s, the first commercial weight loss programs such as companies like Weight Watcher begin to use calorie counting as key components of their plans. Since then, calorie counting has remained a popular weight loss strategy with countless books, apps, and online resources dedicated to helping people track their calorie intake. In terms of who coined the term calorie, it's not entirely clear. The word calorie is derived from the Latin word calor, meaning heat, and it was likely first used in the context of nutrition in the late 1800s. However, there's no single person credited with coining the term. Instead, it was likely gradual evolution of scientific terminology as researchers work to understand the relationship between food and energy. Overall, the history of calorie counting is a fascinating tale of scientific discovery and cultural trends. From the early work of Lavoisier and Litvig to the modern day proliferation of weight loss programs and calorie tracking apps, the concept of the calories play a central role in understanding nutrition and health. Many people struggle with weight loss and one such diet that gained popularity over the years is the 1200 calorie diet. However, little do people know that this diet may be doing them more harm than good. The 1200 calorie diet, as the name suggests, involves restricting your daily caloric intake to 1200 calories. It is considered a very low calorie diet VLCD, which is defined as diets that provide fewer than 800 calories per day 
and are typically reserved for people who are severely obese and under the supervision of a healthcare provider. However, the 1200 calorie diet falls just above the LCD threshold and has become increasingly popular as a weight loss strategy. While the allure of a quick fix may be tempting, it's important to understand that potential risks associated with this type of diet can be crucial. One of the biggest concern is the impact it has on your hormones. When you drastically cut calories, your body goes into survival mode, triggering the release of cortisol, a stress hormone. Cortisol is known to increase belly fat, making it even harder to lose weight. Not only that, cortisol can also lead to a host of overall health issues such as high blood pressure, weakened immune system, and insulin resistance. Another issue with the 1200 calorie diet is the loss of muscle mass. When your body doesn't get enough calories, it begins to break down muscle tissue to use as fuel, leaving you feeling weak and fatigued. This loss of muscle mass can also slow down your metabolism, making it harder to lose weight in the long run. Furthermore, the 1200 calorie diet can also lead to nutrient deficiency when you restrict your calories. You're also limiting the amount of nutrients your body receives, which can cause a variety of health problems. For instance, if you don't get enough protein, your body won't be able to repair and rebuild its muscle tissue leading to weakness and fatigue. Additionally, a lack of essential vitamins and minerals can lead to weakened immune system, digestive issues, and even anemia. The 1200 calorie diet can also have negative effects on your mental health. Cutting calories can leave you feeling deprived and hungry, which can lead to binge eating and negative relationships with food. Additionally, the stress of constantly worrying about your food intake and counting calories can take a toll on your mental well-being. It's important to remember that weight loss is not just about calories in versus calories out. Your body is a very complex machine that requires a balance of nutrients to function properly. Instead of following a restrictive diet, focus on making sustainable lifestyle changes that involves a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management technique. When it comes to weight loss, slow and steady wins the race. While the 1200 calorie diet may produce quick results, it's not a sustainable or healthy approach to weight loss. In fact, researchers suggest that people who lose weight quickly are more likely to gain it back in the long run. More importantly, the 1200 calorie diet may not be suitable for everyone. It's important to consult with the healthcare provider before starting new diets or exercise routines, especially if you have an underlying health condition and you're taking medication. To really break this point down, while the 1200 calorie diet may seem like a quick fix for weight loss, it can have serious complications for your health. Restricting calories can lead to hormone imbalance, loss of muscle mass, nutrient deficiencies, and negative effects on your mental health. Instead of resorting to extreme diets, focus on making healthy and sustainable lifestyle changes that support your overall health and well-being. Remember, slow and steady is more safe and effective when it comes to weight loss. Oh. A well-balanced calorie diet is critical for maintaining a healthy body weight and good health. The first step towards a balanced calorie diet is determining your daily caloric requirement. This can be accomplished through the use of online calculators or by consulting with the nutritionist. You can plan your meals accordingly once you know your daily calorie intake. It is critical to involve calorie dense foods in your meals such as lean protein, whole grains, and certain fruits and vegetables. It's critical to avoid processed foods, refined sugars, and unhealthy fats in order to maintain a healthy calorie balance in your diet. Choose whole foods that have been minimally processed and contain all of the essential nutrients your body requires. Finally, portion control is critical in maintaining a healthy calorie intake. Overeating any foods, even healthy foods, can lead to weight gain. Using smaller plates, measuring portions, 
and paying attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues can all help you maintain a healthy calorie intake. When it comes to maintaining a balanced calorie diet, consistency is also the key and it may take some time to find the right balance of your body. You can achieve a healthy calorie balance in your diet with patience and dedication, which leads to optimal health and well-being. Before you start your journey, I would recommend consulting with your doctor and be guided accordingly on your weight loss journey. This will ensure your long-term success and perfect health you so desire. I wanna say thank you for joining me in this video. If you find this video helpful and you would like to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to receive more science-based healthy weekly tips and tricks from us. Also, if you would like to reach your fitness goals faster and not have to wait and be consistently researching and thinking about different workouts and nutrition online, then click the link below and start my eight week challenge program where you'll find a customized work out a meal plan and an accountability coach thanks again for watching see you on the next one